A faulty portable electric heater is believed to have sparked a fire that filled a high-rise Bronx apartment building with thick smoke, killing 19 people, including nine children. It's New York City's deadliest fire in three decades. Trapped residents broke windows for air and stuffed wet towels under doors as smoke rose from a lower floor flat where the fire started. While witnesses reported seeing residents screaming for help from windows. There was a lot of kids crying, help, help, help. Yeah, when we was going down, it was so quick and we couldn't see. They took my daughter away from me and I got panicked. Once I was walking the stairs, I saw a body in the floor that they tried to rescue. The fire consumed that apartment that is on two floors and part of the hallway. The door to that apartment, unfortunately, when the residents left, was left open. It did not close by itself. The smoke spread throughout the building. Uh, thus, the tremendous loss of life and other people fighting for their lives right now uh, in hospitals all over the Bronx. At least 200 firefighters responded to the blaze. Many kept going, searching for survivors, even when their oxygen tanks were on empty. Sunday's inferno comes just four days after a fire in Philadelphia killed 12 people, including eight children, in a three-storey public housing building.